the feature event from Rose Hill Gardens this afternoon. It's the $10 million Golden Eagle for four-year-olds. Races quickly developed Brad into quite a showpiece and that's reflected in the brief honour roll. Yeah, it certainly has. Uh, have a look at that honour roll there. It's building to be a really, really good race, hasn't it? One mare has won it before and that was Colette. And you're tipping a second to join her shortly and Amelia's Jewel had an off day in the Turak with excuses last time out. Prior to that was winning the Group 2 stock stakes at Mooney Valley and making it back-to-back -back wins. Yeah, and she ran a track record this day, didn't she? I know Pride of Jenny's not at the class of some of these other horses today, but the thing about Pride of Jenny is second up, she absolutely goes like a rocket. And I thought she was terrific this day. Maybe just having to chase this hot speed, just flatten her a little bit for the two rack. She pulled up after the two rack, wasn't on her feet and, and whatnot. So she just put in a, a shocker there. It wasn't her at all. This performance was, we saw what she did in the quokka, flying home, almost beating overpass. I think she'll sit off this hot tempo today, the horse to beat. Hawaii 5-0 comes through the tab Everest, nearly beat the Everest champ two starts ago. Yeah, it was a super run, wasn't it, two starts ago. And even the Everest run was solid. We've seen the form out of that race stack up with Espiona winning already out of it. So um, he's got to be the danger. Legato, the New Zealand mare, she was terrific second up. Hits this race at the right time with a sharp turn of speed. And Oban Buramai, I think I got that right, the Japanese horse. We must respect with those Group 1 form lines overseas. And he's attracting a little nibble everywhere as well. Pick up mount for Josh Parr and it's $9 into seven fifty dollars with the bookmakers, the Japanese runner. Hawaii 5 0 is the new favourite everywhere with bookmakers $4.20, $4.40 into $3.90. Amelia's Jewel $3.50 to $4.20 back into $4. Legato $6.50 into $5.50. Obam Buomai is, as you know, $9 into $7.50 as the other one close up in the trade. Bit to digest there, but good late support into favouritism. Hawaii 5 0. Yeah. I didn't expect that, I must admit. Uh, I say many times the market's a better judge than me, but, oh, gee, I think if I lined them both up, I'm definitely in Amelia's jewel camp. I know she's he was good in the Tab Everest to I-5-0, but maybe jury's out on the form out of that race now. You know, I looked at it and thought Espiona come out of it one sure, but... Um, you know, we've just seen the, the horse Bella Nepotina out of the Sydney Stakes uh, beat Private Eye and, uh, and think about it, and she should have beaten them about a length and a half. So... Uh, yep, and then we saw obviously Cylinder was too bad to be true in the Coolmore, but Shinzo ran about third or fourth, so it's, it might not be stacking up actually. So with all that, I'm, I want to stick with the, the mare here, um, Amelia's Jewel. I just think uh, she's going to bounce back in a big way today. She's got a brilliant turn of speed. I think she's a bit sharper than Hawaii 5.0, but look, I'm really respecting that market move all the same. And no sooner had Hawaii 5.0 found favouritism, Amelia's Jewel leapfrogs it once again. She had a bug before the Turak was off her feet for a couple of days and finished ninth, but just an off day. Yeah, exactly right, and they're not robots, are they, at the end of the day, Marto? So look, they can have bad days, and Simon Miller's always been very transparent in how she's going and basically said, you know, in the days after that, she was, wasn't was eating up, wasn't herself. They were looking at potentially pulling the pin on the campaign then, but gave her a few days and she was back. And I think he used the words breathing fire and all her track work the last week, week and a half, suggests she's back to her best. So sometimes they just put in a bad one for whatever reason. Maybe they've just had an off day. Um, yeah, we, we don't know. Obviously, they don't talk to us. So, uh, but... We know she's classy, her win prior to that was super, her run in the quokka was, was great and I just love the way this race sets up for her because we know 16, 1800 is no issue for her. So sitting back, midfield, off a hot tempo here, she's the one that's going to be strong where a lot of these are going to struggle at the 1500. Legato is the third pick, freshen for the Australian return start Kiwi Mare. Sole Australian start resulted in a Group 1 Australian Guineas win in the autumn. It's trained by Kevin Bev uh, Kelso, who uh, husband and wife had almost retired before this horse came along. Yeah, it's quite a, a fantastic story, isn't it? And uh, to be able to sort of enjoy the, the ride with this mare, and she's won the seven from nine. We know these horses come over from New Zealand, these four-year-olds, and they've been terrific. And... Look, she was beaten by a skew if back in uh, September, who's finished sixth in a Chris a Tristark, but um, love that win at Matter Matter in, in the cup there, and she just looks to be hitting this race at the right time. That Australian Guineas win should have won by further too, so got a nice turn of speed as well, and another one that's going to really appreciate this high pressure. And of the three international runners, the most popular clearly is Obam Buamai for Japan. Dual group winner in Japan on Australian debut, Josh Park quoted as saying, not overly big, but both a very fluid action and a nice long stride. Yeah, we've got to respect, that's for sure, with that uh, Group 1 form in, in Japan. How does he set up here? I always think we've got to give an extra tick to their stayers rather than sort of the 15, 1600 metre horses. We, we tend to be pretty good there and 
Luke Marlow um, put out a, a stat this morning on Racing HQ saying I think there's been 12 internationals in this race and the best finish is about fifth. So whether they handle it, first go Rose Hill, it's always a bit of a concern. Big late rally for Amelia's Jewel back as favourite for the fifth running of the Golden Eagle. It's Australia's second richest race behind the Tab Everest. 10 million on the line with Darren. The call for Amelia's Jeweler. Damien Lane booked by Simon Miller for the ride. Straight Acer ran enormous and the Silver Eagle goes in. Vienna Princess in form, shooting for three in a row. And Vienna Princess is next in the queue. Then Coin Toss, the horse from Singapore. Now with Gained Adrian going off at big odds. Brett Preble in the saddle. And a Knight's Choice, Ruthless Dame, and Golden Mile are the remaining runners to go forward. So we're getting close now. 360 about Amelia's duel as Golden Mile goes forward and Ruthless Dame has the outside barrier to contend with. Draw number 17 after scratchings. So they're all in now. Ruthless Dame completes the lineup. There's the light and we're ready to go on the Golden Eagle. Racing now. Golden Mile jump well from the wide gate. Coin toss nicely into stride and Pericles going forward and New Endeavour going forward as well looking for the lead. They're followed by Amelia's Jewel in a handy spot from Communist and Oban Buramai holding a forward spot there on the rails. Age of Kings deeper out. Then came Vienna Princess Legato slicing through the pack going back to Towards the inside now with Straight Acer deeper out. Further back to Knight's Choice. Berry's got Kovalika down on the fence. A length and a half ruthless Dame Rosita. And last of all is Galeron. They sort their positions. Golden Mile from New Endeavour. Pericles box seat. Deeper out there is Communist. In between runners Coin Toss fifth. A length and a half to Age of Kings. Hawaii 5-0. Back on the inside of the favourite Amelia's Jewel in the red cap. Further back to Straight Acer. Abam Buramai. Then came Vienna Princess. Ruthless Dame. Then came Legato from Knight's Choice. Galeron trying to start a run. Kovalik has been shuffled back to join Rosita at the tail of the field. On the corner, it's Golden Mile swinging in front from New Endeavour. Communist has done it tough. Pericles needs a run. Then coin toss, Age of Kings. Amelia's Jewel looking to slice through the pack. Hawaii 5-0 still five off them. Nash has got nowhere to go as Golden Mile kicks. The stable mate Pericles giving chase. Golden Mile a length. A half on Pericles getting closer. Abam Buramai is charging home. It's Golden Mile. Pericles. Obam Buramai. The Japanese stallion bombed them. Obam Buramai. My goodness. What a great finish. He got up to beat Pericles and Golden Mile followed then by Hawaii 5-0. Amelia's Jewel and Communist. Then came New Endeavour from Straight Ace. A coin toss. Knight's Choice. Kovalik and Rosita from Vienna. Princess Galeron. Ruthless Dame. Legato at Age of Kings. Obam Buramai. Josh Parr getting the gaps, making up many lengths, slicing through the pack of the two Godolphin runners fighting it out, Golden Mile and Pericles and Abam Buramai, the Japanese stallion with an amazing finish. Well, Abam Buramai taking out the Golden Eagle. Trained by KG Yoshimura, Josh Parr picking up the ride when Yataka Take uh, with an injury had to pull the pin and Abam Buramai winning it paying 860 and 280. Pericles 320, Golden Mile a return of $8.60. Well, he was. So Japan win the Golden Eagle with Obam Buramai paying $8.50 plus across the totes. As Darren rightly pointed out, slicing through them late. And what a story and what a ride by Josh Parr up the fence, saved ground, got through. And what does this mean for the race as well? Surely there's connections, trainers, owners, uh, jockeys in Japan and right around the world going, well... If Oban Buramai can do it, let's go take on the Golden Eagle next year. Great story for the race. The Japanese horse, too good. A couple of forgive stories. Amelia's Jewel got absolutely flattened at the 300. Total forgive for the equal favourite. And there's probably some more excuses in behind. Another memorable edition of the Golden Eagle won by Oban Buramai. It's 12 beating.